Hi, dear Oduers, and welcome back. This Odoo lesson will cover SEPA Direct Debits. This feature allows us to collect payments directly from our customers' bank accounts as long as these accounts are euro-denominated and in a SEPA country. The single euro payments area includes all the member states of the European Union and some additional countries. Once we get a mandate signed by a customer, we can charge their bank account automatically for all the new invoices we issue them. Odoo generates an XML file that we then upload to our banking interface to process all the payments in the blink of an eye. For us at Stealthy Wood, this means that we'll drastically reduce the collection effort and keep our cash flow efficient. It also means that our customers won't have to worry about manual payment or risk by missing a payment deadline, since most of them are super busy saving the world. Of course, the customers are protected from fraud. First of all, as a vendor, we need to get a SEPA creditor identifier from our bank or the authority responsible for delivering them, provided that we meet the requirements. Also keep in mind that the customer can request a refund for any payment within eight weeks without having to provide any justification. Lastly, any unauthorized transaction can be refunded up to 13 months after the direct debit. So let's see how this works in Odoo. All right, so here I am on my database. Now, if I would like to use SEPA Direct Debits, I first need to configure it in my invoicing application. Go to Configurations, Settings. All right, and then we're going to scroll down to the Customer Payments section and activate this option, SEPA Direct Debit. All right, once you click on this option and save, you're going to see a new field here, Creditor Identifier. So again, you do need to activate this before you will see this field. All right, and once we see this, we can go ahead and add our creditor identifier and then save. Now, once we add it and it's saved, we can go ahead and create a direct debit mandate. All right, so we'll do that by going to customers, direct debit mandates, and we're going to generate, a, or we're going to create a new one. And once we do that, Odoo will generate an identifier for this mandate. All right, and then we can choose our debtor, which will be Fantasia Motors in this case. Now, I want to be sure that on this contact, Let's pop it up right now. On this contact, I have his bank account information set up underneath the invoicing tab, which I do. Then we can save. For the account, I'm gonna go ahead and select the account that's linked to his contact. And then I also need to add a journal for the direct debit payments. And on this journal, I also wanna make sure that I have a bank account set up as well. And in this case, I also do. So let's save and then let's add a start date. Okay. So let's say today, and then we're going to print this. Now it will generate a PDF file. And of course, both you and your customer need to sign this. So from here, we see the creditor information, debtor, debtor information, excuse me, and the mandate validity. All right. So something else you can do here is you can upload it to your sign application so that you and your customer can sign this electronically, which saves a ton of time. Now let's go back to Odoo. All right, and let's say that it's signed by um, both people. Then we can go ahead and upload it right here. Okay, the signed document, and then we can save and validate. All right, so once we validate, it goes from draft to active. Okay, so from here, we can either uh, revoke or close this mandate at any point in time, okay, after it's active. So if we close the mandate, that means that it will be closed at the current date and all the invoices before now can still be paid with the mandate. All right, but if we revoke, that means that uh, the mandate will be closed and no payments will be processed as SDD for the invoices, whatever the date uh, was that they were issued. All right, so again, if you close it, that means that the invoices can still be paid with this mandate, but if you revoke it, they cannot. All right, now let's go ahead and create a new invoice for this customer. All right, so it's Fantasio Motors. Okay, Fantasio Motors is going to buy a customizable desk, and then we're going to validate. It goes from draft directly to paid. All right, so that's really convenient. Then we can go to customers at the top and check out our payments. All right, so let's go ahead and filter by direct, direct debit payments to collect. Okay, and I'm going to choose this one right here that's related to this mandate. I'm gonna select action, create batch payment. Okay, we can do that from um, within the mandate as well. All right, so here I have that batch payment. So let's go ahead and validate it since all of the information is correct. 
And once I validate it, it will automatically generate an XML file that can be uploaded to uh, your bank interface. All right, and so you can see that with the accounting app, it's super easy to get all of the information you need to make this possible. All right, and if we close, we'll even see this button here, regenerate export file. All right, so this whole flow is quite simple as long as you have um, all of your accounts set up properly. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.